I think a wee lamb like this, Mum, I think you'd be better back at the shed. Oh my god! Yeah, I just wonder if it's a bit of joint ill or... Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep is the game, we're on day 14 now, I believe, of the lambing series, been a buzz, we say that all the time, and here's this morning's bit of excitement if I can get anywhere near her now, this girl that we were always rolling off her back, if you remember, she only has one eye because the crows pecked it out one time she was upside down, has had a cracking pair, of twins last night. She's a cheviot, she's only cheviot in here, but just because she was just because she was destined to kill herself. We had to bring her close at home. Um, so yeah, she hasn't killed herself. And she has two cracking lambs. What a great start to the day. Very exciting. Everything's going well this morning so far. Touch wood, touch wood. As I always say, disaster is only around the corner. Let's go. We have some morning action, <laughs> and if uh, people ask when I'm with these sheep, where is Meg? Well, Meg stays up the back there, and I didn't actually get her this morning. Because usually, we don't really have many problems with these mules, so... But I know you can say, what about the times you do have problems, like right now? And it's a good question. We've got her at the fence line. You can usually do something when you get them there. Come out this wee rot lass. Another reason I don't really worry about Meg too much is they're usually easy caught. They're big and slow. Not as big as this lamb though, this lamb's massive. Well, obviously they're bigger than the lamb, that doesn't make sense what I just said, but I'll get you, lass. Wow. Wow. What a size of sheep this is. Oh, let me give you a hand, Lammy. Jeez, you're a brute. That's it, have a good thrash about. We've got a wee bit caught in the pelvis there. Can you see this lamb, folks? And see, it's a wee bit, wee bit swole to the head there. It just got a wee bit still. Oh, oh, where are you going, lamb? Jeez, big strong neck. A wee bit swole to the head. Right. Lammy. Let me just bring you over here to mum. I can just tell she's a kind mum. Right mum. What do you like for milk? Gallons of it and nice sized teats as well. Definitely had a bit of bother this year with the size of teats. Older ewes, a lot the flock's getting older every year obviously. So we're gonna have problems like that. Right, let's just pop this other lamb out while we're here. Coming out, no bother, Mum. No bother at all. <laughs> oh, you're dramatic. Lizzie didn't even make that much noise. Quickly splot this one to the front. With the other one. In fact, what I want to do, because, well, no, I was going to say, we're in a wee dodgy bit here, they might get stuck, but... Yeah, I wonder if I just... Just going to lift the lambs up out this hill. I point to here. Oh, mum. Jeez, that first one's a bruiser. There she is. Loving her two lambs. I won't stress you, mum. Sorry, sorry. She doesn't trust me now. Can't blame her. Can't blame her. Okay, so literally, 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 just drove into the field here and I see a problem. Well, I don't know if it's a problem. 
but it's a sheep trying to lamb. Oh, is it needing a hand? Maybe not. We'll leave her just now, we'll do the rest of the field and come back to her. I say that because the fluid at the back is, uh, is clear, so no obvious signs of distress. I can see a, a hoof, so I know it's not at least coming head first, and it looks like a front hoof because the toes are pointing up the way. A wee fresh set of blacky twins. Nice to see. This girl here that we saw when we first drove in, it's one of those things that I hate diving in if I don't need to, but just even the way she was pressing there makes me think she's probably been pressing for a wee while, so I think we're just going to help her out and then I can have peace of mind when I go for my breakfast that she's lambed some bag of milk on her. Jeez. We're just walking over to this fence. Oh my god. See, a year ago, well, four years ago, I'd have had the pace to catch that sheep there. Well, that and holding you guys steady definitely slows the job down. I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you, I'm just saying. Wait, he's here, he's here. He's here, Meg. Actually, this. Oh, she turned right into me. Meg, would you actually do something? Would you actually do something eh, and help? Oh, I feel I've got all to do. Oh. <laughs> no Meg, no victory roll. I had to do all the work. She did some of the work. But oh. I'm definitely feeling better now. I was before if I ran like that, I would have been in a real state. I think we did the right thing giving you a hand here last because this is a, a big lamb and I think you've been at it a wee while. That's it, contract. Contract, here it comes. Wow. Wow. What a brute. What a brute. Top lamb, obviously. What a brute. Traditional blue tops used. I think that'll be you, lass, is it not? Aye. Look at all this milk. And just one big top lamb. Oh, lass, what a shame. You'd be great for twins. But it wasn't meant to be. Here it comes. Right, Meg, you're overdoing it now. For all you actually did. Right, run away, run away. Run away, Meg. Come on, run, run. Is that you running? Up the bike. Come on up. Do, 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 do. Done my bit, done my bit. Right, I'm just going to reverse as usual, get out of the way and watch from a distance. Big strong lamb, shame it's not a yow lamb, but that's... Just the way it goes. Come back. Okay, and uh, what do we have here, Lizzie? <coughs> the boy in his harness, is that right? What have you been doing today, Jock? <coughs> no, 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 it's not for eating. It's not for eating, it's a lot of nasty things on that. Just stick to eating mums here. <laughs> All right, you take the camera then. He's actually holding it. Oh, I can see that. Oh, good catch from Dad there. Right, good start, Jock. That was your first ever vlogging attempt. That was not bad. We have another face with us here, a new face with us. We've got Dylan here today. Dylan's a, a local farmer and a future sheep farmer, is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's also got some cattle at the moment as well. If we turn this way, Dylan, actually, we'll get a bit better lighting. Come out here. It's all about the lighting and stuff. You've got to think about these things. So, an important thing, folks, is that if you have a good bit of winter in somewhere uh, and the farmer says, we take my boy out for a day, he's keen to go out for a day, you've got to say yes. And you've got to encourage them, but you don't want them, I don't want you getting too keen on sheep because then like, you'll just kick me off and you'll say, I'm going to put sheep on. Is that about right? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, good on you. I'd love to see it. I would love to see it. Let's go. <laughs> So we've got a couple lots of sheep out like you saw there. We're just on our midday rounds here with Dylan at the helm. Great uh, great life skills. Just like even just well he's been driving a quad for years because he lives on a farm, but still I think simple things like that, it takes the um, you know if you're doing it all the time when you're younger, I think it takes away a bit of the craziness when you, when you get older, especially like, there's always like young drivers and stuff get a hard time, but I always think with farmers, if, well they can be crazy too, but if they've been doing it since they were 10, the novelty's off it a little bit. I should add, the bike comes out the trailer, it doesn't go along the road with the two of us on it, it's just on the trailer and we're only in the field. Still might be against the guidelines, I'm not quite sure, but Quit live your life. That fresh born one there. Let's go over there a wee bit and see if that's all right. Just give her plenty of room. Just that's fine. She's all good. Yep, she's fine. Nice pair of twins. Now we did have a ewe lamb this morning with a silly wee lamb, oh yeah, I see it's still flopping about, so it is still alive, I just wasn't sure about it to be honest with you, but I thought I'd le leave her, give her a couple of hours and we'd come back and see how she's getting on, so that's what we're here to do just now. We have got the tube, although I did forget to lift it, it's in the car, we'll need to go back and get it. We'll see what this lamb is like. Doesn't look too flash, hang fire there. Why don't? I didn't. Just hang fire there, Dylan. I didn't. Now the wee lamb, the wee lamb looked okay, savvy enough. Have you been on your feet, wee lamb? Can you even stand up? No, there's something just not right with you, is there? Oh, I thought, I thought when I saw you earlier, you just went quite right. Mum, what's a big sheep like you doing my wee silly lamb like that? Oh. It's very limp and yeah. lifelike. It's never moved all morning, so obviously it's not a dead colostrum. That's that's something we can easily remedy, but it's whether it's ever going to come to anything. Great wee mum, as you see there. I wonder if we just take her back. Take her back and tackle it at the shed. Too, too good a sheep, she's got a good bag of milk, I think. Well, I say that, I'm just saying that because I've all got a good bag of milk, but she does have a good bag of milk. Yeah. I think a wee lamb like this, Mum, I think you'd be better back at the shed. Um, right, come back, come back. Right here, Dylan, some vlogging. Uh, practice for you, hold the camera, I'm going to catch her, okay? And then we'll take her down to the trailer. But nice and calm, lie down Meg, nice and calm. Meh, 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 meh. Oh, that's your absolute unit, man. The size of you. Like, even her, even, she's so fat, even her feet look fat. I mean, the size of this sheep's wild. I don't think I'll even be able to lift. 
No, she's been lambed a long time. She's it's not another one. She's been too good to herself and not um, growing the big enough lambs. What I'll do is we'll get her on the bike somehow. She is one of the heaviest cheviots I've ever dealt with. Uh, Meg, don't... <sighs> How strong are you? Just roughly on a scale of 1 to 10. 10. Ah, well, I'm about a 4. So between us, we're 14 out of 20. Bit of problems, common sense problem solving, actually. We just rolled her on. Oh, we're in park. Gonna put us in high. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh. Oh wait, no, my foot's on the brake, that's what was wrong. Brake last, you're big and fat, don't run away for us. Bit of exercise for you. <laughs> so next time someone asks you, uh, out of 10, how strong are you, what are you going to say? Three. three, that's fair. <laughs> that's more realistic. <laughs> you be a three and I'll be a four, right? But only because I'm a bit older than you. Right, last. Oh, she's an absolute beast. Oh. Okay, so everything else looks okay. My memory card filled up when we put the sheep in the trailer, so she's down there with her lamb. We're going to tube that lamb and we're just going to put her in the shed because honestly, I don't think that lamb's going to make it. Maybe I'm wrong. Something about it just seems a bit flippy floppy and not much about it. But um, hey, you never know what a belly of colostrum can do. So we'll get her back to the shed and do that. But we have got another wee lot to check just now. So I've got colostrum in the car. We'll tube the lamb, check the rest of the sheep, and then get it to the shed. And, and hopefully by that time the colostrum's kicked in. So it looks like Dylan's going to get a chance to lamb a sheep here because this half-bred needs a little help. She's had a, a fantastic first lamb. You go that way Dylan, we fan out, ten and two. The second one's just got a bit stuck by the looks of it, she's got a wee bit swollen there. You wee bit of help Meg. Right, cut way. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 that's it, that's it. Right, pull that lamb out. This is where you're um, three out of 10 strength, one leg at a time, just do one leg at a time. So put two hands on that leg and give it a right good pull. And then two hands on the next leg and it'll all just come flying out. Dead easy. Great work. Straight into the first aid. Clear the lungs. Wipe its nose. Done. What a brobby lamb over there. Think you can go and catch that other lamb. Yeah. Might not be as easy as you think. He's got it, easy. Grow wee lamb here, mum. So just, oh, steady mum. So what to do is just sit that, I just sit that one down there. Good, and then just lift this one round to the front of mum. There, the mum, mum sees it. Oh, she's a good mum, eh? she's wanting up. On you go mum, get up and get at it. Why not, lily Meg, lily Meg. Why you doing? Lily Meg. Oh, but I thought she was wanting at it. Aye, she has a good mum. There she is. There she is. There she is. I thought the cheviot bit was going to take over there and she was going to go... Pew. Right, I've got a lamb off its legs here. Uh, we'll need to see to... I want to see what this sheep's doing. Just bring the bike round. Uh, Meg, up on the bike. You just wait the other now, Meg. Don't scare everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's out of fuel. Yeah, I'm good at doing things like that. But we'll still make it. Just have a bit of faith. Um, right, we're going to get swamped here. Let's go and see this lamb over here. Right, 
Hey, what's happened to you, Lammy? Let me see you. Take a hold of this for us. What's happened to this lamb here? Something's wrong. I don't think it's the same as the others that have went off their legs. I'm not one to get swarmed here by sheep wanting fed. What is this? Oh, you're sounding a wee bit so there, lamb. Yeah, I just wonder if it's a bit of joint ill or, or what's wrong with it. Right, I think what we'll do is... Right there. I'm wondering if the jacket's been cutting off the circulation a little bit because it's a little bit puffy here. And it was kind of wrapped around the leg, but I'm going to give it a little drag of Sinulux. Just in case. Um, here's my Sinulux syringe. under a mill for this wee guy. We'll keep an eye on that lamb. It's still, you know, it's been fed. That's its mum over there with the red tags. She's coming forward for it. Yeah, definitely a problem with that leg. So we'll just keep an eye on that. Different than the other ones we've been having problems with, definitely. And thankfully half bread's back for our lambs. These, uh, these big bear skin Charlie lambs. There's three of them together. Good job it's a mild night out here. What's that? Bit of Good job it's a mild night out here, I tell you. Here is little, little Jaybird looking quite agile tonight. Certainly full of the belly and uh, definitely not going to be easy caught tonight, I wouldn't think. So that's, that's good enough for me. I'm quite happy, still a wee bit stiff of its legs, but much better looking. So, another fun little job for the night. We have the A team. We've got Tom and Vicky and Lizzie over there, right in the distance, taking a lot of using lambs across the road to a fresh bite, like I said I would do two days ago. Jock, me and Dylan, I've got this lot and we want to get them across the bridge, into there, through to there and through and we're just doing them two wee halves, there's still plenty left on the other side there but we'll just do a wee bit of time, we don't want uh, sheep getting mismothered and there's like a wee pair here that Jock's probably just going to let come back out the way because they're just a wee bit young, there's no, you know you could spend all day walking them across but really give them another couple of days here and we'll get them across themselves. That's alright Dylan, they're going to run across the bridge anyway. The good thing is there's other ones going across the road. The good thing is these yows know how to get across that road. Like they know there's a fresh bite over there. Right, lass. No lammies in the bum. <laughs> Nobody in the bum this year. Well, that's that's good. Usually we have at least one falls down this wee bit here. And you're all going to say to me again, Cammy, you keep saying you're going to fix that. And yeah, I genuinely, I will fix it. This is, uh, is this Bill? This is Bill. This is Bill, this is Jock's dog. Unfortunately, his other dog, uh, very fit, was she, uh, Nell was the, Nell, wasn't it? No, Gail. Gail, sorry, Gail, sorry, of course I. Gail, was Gail the one uh, you were trialling with? Uh, I've done a bit of nursery trials as well. Aye, but she uh, had an unfortunate accident, she, well, your feather was using her. Aye, dad was using her. Aye, feather was borrow her, which makes it even worse for poor feather, but uh, she ran into a drain, an open drain or something, yeah. and, and broke her neck. Aye, broke her neck. Total freak accident, like, yeah. but um, Sadian, because that, that was a good dog, that. That was a good dog, and now, and now you've got Bill. It's quite embarrassing that I've got Bill as a <laughs> main dog. <laughs> a Welsh, a Welsh as well. Some pressure on these Welsh boys, it's, it's not easy living in your grandfather's shadow, eh? It's not. <laughs> even the same name, I'm just makes it worse. Off his name. Aye. <laughs> 
Vocal like Joke Welsh? I no we joke Welsh or no? No no no. Here's wee no ears from yesterday, look at those for a cracking pair of lambs full of milk. She is uh, my best show. Not not to look at though, Jock, not to look at. But look at that for a nice wee tight skinned pair of lambs. The ears? Uh, aye, her ears. Oh, I just can't hear a word you say when it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's handy when they've been back and forth so many times they kind of know what's happening. Uh, it was an absolute doddle. I thought it'd be a bit of a nightmare, but it was a doddle. Easy. Much easier than last year. Oh, it was a. Uh, last year we had them running up towards the village, like wee lambs and all that. It was wild. I don't know if there's any more grass, but it's certainly greener. That's one thing. So there we go, good job done. We'll get some more in a couple of days. A good evening uh, shepherding there, Jock. Take that stick there. You got it? Oh, nearly, saft. Still a bit weak. Takes after his dad, a bit weak. Right, let's go. Okay, so here are our three lambs that were off their feet. Little 103 here that we got. These two are really getting getting better. This is this lamb was barely walking the other day, you saw it, and Vicky was doing the physio. Look at it now. So they've had a, wee, a jag of vitamin E. A jag of vitamin E, and they've also had their uh, Sinulux and Metacam that we initially gave them. I'm quite happy with two of them, I'm just not happy with this wee lamby here. Still quite stiff, so I'm going to give it another go of Sinulux. Just to, in case it is something different for this lamb. I always worry, like, you know, with the tags, for it's another route for joint ill to go into the lambs. So it's got tags, it's got its navel, which all looks clean though. It's, got, it's been wrung. All these kind of points are points that we can get joint ill in there, so got to be careful for that. Dylan, uh, how's your day been so far? Good, yeah. yeah. Got to llama sheep, obviously, was that one of the highlights? Yeah. What, what was another highlight? Uh, lamb jumping into Jock's hands. Yes, that was quite good. That wasn't on camera right enough. Uh, we, had a, we had a moment earlier where a, a big lamb just jumped a fair height, to be fair, and Jock caught it in mid-air, so... Oh, it was at least seven, eight feet up, mate. It was, do you know what it reminded me of? Uh, have you seen Free Willy? Oh, I I, it, was, uh, it was just like Free Willy. <laughs> the same kind of height, so what a catch. What a catch, Joe. Vicky, what's, uh, what's your highlight been from today? My highlight been from today? Um, catching a sheevy by myself, and getting it in the trailer and getting it down to Paul's. Some lass. Without swearing. Oh, don't lie to me. Don't no, lie, no, no, don't lie to me. And I used, and I used Liv as well, which is like a feat, but right. yes. It's some buzz, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sheep farming. Sheep farming, it's just some buzz. The small victories. Because there can be no big victory at this job. <laughs> Sheep fans, another day where I didn't end the video at the shed as I should have done. So this is me closing it off at home as we do the edit, almost midnight, some thought, alarm will be going off in five hours. It's exciting. There's folk that have it worse than me. I tell you, things are starting to slow down a bit now, so that's good. We're looking forward to... Well, people on the phone looking for shearing done is the next thing. Ooh, it's a thought. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for all the support, as always, and we'll see you for the next one.